Hey there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today I am going to be sort of resurrecting something last year, well it wasn't last year but on FIFA 13 I did a video about 10 players that you should take a look out for on career mode and this time I'm doing it for FIFA 14, I suppose that one, that one was for players to look out for on FIFA 14, this is confirmed ratings and the such like, obviously the players that I'll show you the stats uh, won't be like exact because with the scouting system nowadays you actually have to sign them beforehand and I didn't have time really to do that on a separate career mode but also just one thing I want to say before this starts is that these players won't be obvious options so people like Luke Shaw uh, and Bernard who's very famous now on career mode and ultimate team and Zachariah Backley who has 90 potential won't be involved in this chart this is people who you may not have necessarily heard of I tried to look for players who aren't that famous when it comes to people buying them on uh, on career mode. So yeah, I've had a little bit of a scout around, and these are some of the understated beasts, if you like. So, first up at number 10, we have Stefanos Capino, the goalkeeper, uh, who plays for Panathinaikos. Now, this guy you may not be able to search, actually, and find, because he does play for the rest of the world uh, team, but he has got great goalkeeping stats between 76 and 80, uh, in terms of goalkeeping and diving and yellow stats pretty much everywhere else. This guy does develop, I think, I do believe, into a low 80 stat goalkeeper and he will be relatively cheap as he plays for a lower end team. So he's definitely someone to watch out for. I think he's 72 stat currently. But then next, at number 9, we have Kyle Eberthelio, the FC Twente centre midfielder. Now, for this guy, he is 68 stat currently. Um, I wouldn't personally buy him straight away. This is someone who I would wait to see how he develops at FC Twente before buying him. As you can see, he's got very average stats for now, uh, but he will grow into an all-rounder with speed, uh, agility, and good passing attributes like a you, like a normal centre mid should have. He's also got three-star uh, skill moves even, and can play as a centre mid or an attacking mid, so he's relatively versatile. Now next up, we've got Emo Ezekiel. Look at those stats. Absolutely ridiculous acceleration, sprint speed, agility, even jumping. I mean, this guy's going to develop into one heck of a striker. His finishing could be a little bit better, I do believe, but he will develop into somewhat of a beastly striker. Maybe someone you might want to look out for on Ultimate Team as well. Uh, Three-star uh, skill moves, high attacking work rate, which is interesting as well. Not very versatile, but he is 19 years old, and he is a Nigerian striker. Definitely one to watch out for with the speeds to speciality. Now next up we've got another centre mid, this time Marcus Henriksen, the Norwegian AZ Alkmaar centre mid. Look at that jumping for a centre mid, which is interesting. Got a decent amount of strength and stamina as well, so it's interesting to see what type of centre mid he will be. More of the engine type, more than the very skillful and speedy one. Uh, he's also got brilliant long shot and shot power, which means he will develop into an absolute boss on career mode at long shots. He's definitely someone you want to look out for, a bit like Marco Van Yinkel in that sense. He's also got four-star weak foot, three-star skill move, and high defensive work rate. Plus, he's only 20 years old. Not very versatile, though, unfortunately. Now, next up at number six, we have Alvaro Morata, the uh, blah, blah, Real Madrid striker. Sorry about that momentary blip. But this guy did extremely well in the under-21 European Championships, and is now on the radar of most teams. He's 76 stat on this game. And he will develop into something of a bit of a boss, a low 80 stat. Now, he does play for Real Madrid, which means he won't get a huge amount of game time. And he is loanable, I think, in the first season. So he may be someone to look out for. He can play as a left winger as well as a striker. Uh, with He's only 20 years old as well. Obviously, he's Spanish. Uh, the, one, the one downside is probably he's only got two-star skill moves. But it's not really the end, of the, the end of the world even. Now, next up at number five, we've got someone who I'm fairly confident you won't have heard of. The Colombian, Eder Alvarez Balanza. And the reason why this centre-back is in this chart is because he will develop into a pacey player. Now, we all love a pacey centre-back, and in career mode, it's also very vital to have a pacey centre-back. He has got high strength and jumping at the moment, so he will be one heck of a verse of a of an all-round centre-back. He does play for River Plate currently in the Argentinian League, and as you can see there, he's very versatile as he can play as a centre-back, left-back, or a centre-defensive mid, and he's only 20 years old. As I mentioned, he's from Colombia. Now, next up, we've got Lazar Markovic. The man who plays for Benfica, again, another skillful and extremely fast uh, winger here. Well, winger, I say winger, he's a centre forward on this game strictly, but he's also got great ball control and dribbling well into the green zone as well. Acceleration, look at that, 89 to 93, that is truly incredible for a young player. He's recently signed from Partizan Belgrade, which is the one hitch. He may not be available in the first season, um, so you may want to look out for him in terms of stat later on in the career mode rather than straight away, but he's also got four-star skill moves and can play as a left mid. He's from Serbia, he's 19, 
with medium attack and defensive work. Right now, next up at number three, we've got Paolo Dybala, the centre forward from Palermo. Look again, acceleration, sprint speed and agility to die for. He's also got great balance and dribbling as well. Now, the reason this guy's so far up in the chart, he is 72 stat, by the way, is because he plays for Palermo, who are now a Serie B team. Now, that means they're well, not unknown. Everyone, well, most people know Palermo. But in terms of the game, he doesn't play for a massively big team at the moment, so you might be able to prize him away from them quite easily. He can play as a centre-forward and a centre-attacking mid. He's from Argentina. He's 19 years old, and he has a high attacking work rate along with three-star skills. He's also an acrobat in terms of specialities. Now, next up at number two, this guy's so almost one, but it's Oliver Torres, the attacking midfielder from Atletico Madrid. Great agility and balance. And this guy, this guy's at number two, because A, he's versatile. He can play as a centre-attacking mid and a centre-mid. And B... He's just an all-round midfielder. He's got great vision, great ball control, great dribbling, great short passing, great agility, and he'll be relatively quick as well when he reaches his peak. So he will be literally good at anything. He gets to, I think, 85 uh, in terms of potential that I've read off some websites. He's, as I said, he can play as a centre mid or an attacking mid. He's Spanish, uh, plays for Atletico Madrid, 18 years old only. The only hitch is he's got a low defensive work rate. That's not the end of the world, really, is it? Uh, as he's an attacking midfielder, and he's got four-star weak foot and four-star skill moves. But at number one, we have Mateo Kovacic. A lot of you may have heard of this guy. Uh, he's Croatian, he plays for Inter Milan. Uh, and this guy, actually, was almost beaten by Oliver Torres. He's the same sort of player. He is a centre mid, not very versatile, though, unfortunately. Uh, but he is literally an all-rounder. He's quick, he's agile, uh, he can pass the ball, he's got great ball control, dribbling, free kick accuracy, long shots, shot power, just... Everything is just is great about this guy. He's got four-star weak foot and three-star skill moves. And to boot, right, he's 77 stat, but just get this. Get this. His market value is 3.6 million. I mean, come on. 3.6 million. They'll want substantially more uh, Will into Milan, most likely. But, I mean, come on. That is just an absolutely incredible, uh, just incredible bargain. Even if you get him for double that, I think you'd definitely... It would definitely be worth it even. But I'm hoping you've enjoyed this chart. It's, uh, I'm hoping you'll find some great players that will help you through career mode from this chart, basically. Um, I definitely suggest getting Mateo Kovacic and Oliver Torres. I also suggest getting Dybala and Lazar Markovic, although not in the first season, probably a little bit later on, as well as Kyle Abathelio, who has great potential for a 68 stature. I do believe it's 84 or something insane like that. Um, but anyway, like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Comment about enjoying it if you enjoyed it that much. And yeah, I hope you've had a good day. It's been a pleasure ranting with you today. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye. Wait, hang on. Wait. Right, I declare that completely illogical.